Hello and welcome to French Cheeks Top Tip Videos. I'm Craig Phillips, the brand ambassador, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint a ceramic tile using the Alfresco range. Now, painting a ceramic tile, the principles of the preparation and the application is more or less all the same when it comes to painting woodwork, whether it's your skirting boards, your internal doors, or even your UPVC doors and outside furniture. It's all more or less the same. And this is how easy it is to do. First of all, I'm gonna clean the tiles. I've got myself sugar soap. I'm gonna dilute this down 10 to one. One part sugar soap, 10 parts warm water. I'm gonna take my sponge, fair amount onto the actual tile, and just scrubbing motions, cleaning off all that grime or grease that could have built up there over the years. Making sure all the edges are clean and there's nothing else left on there. Already I can see the dirt coming off in that. Once you've cleaned them, take yourself some more warm water and a clean cloth. Rinse off the sugar soap. And I'm gonna show you two methods of application. One's gonna be with a paintbrush, and one's gonna be with a small roller. Once you're happy that you've rinsed all of the sugar soap off the tiles, you can then give them a quick dry off ready to start painting. Now of course these are loose tiles. Your tiles are going to be fixed to your kitchen wall and grouted around. Sometimes that grout might be set back quite deeply so make sure you clean all the edges of the tiles. Now all I need to do is lightly sand it by using a fine sand and sponge. I'm only putting about the same amount of pressure as I would do if I was sanding a piece of furniture, just to take the shine off the top and again, just on them edges there. Taking my dry cloth again, making sure that there is no dust at all on the tile or, or in between the grout. Now my ceramic tiles are ready to start painting. So I'm gonna use the Alfresco range, which is suitable for indoors and outdoors. And this color is Dusky Blush. You can see beautiful, thick and creamy. Like all French cheek paint, just put a small amount on the brush. I'm going straight to the center of the tile. And I'm gonna to start to spread that out the way across and of course there is no set direction of painting up or down or left to right when it comes to doing a tile but what I would recommend is continue it the same on all the tiles throughout the wall and then once I've applied it all on just lightly feathering over the top of the layer of paint not adding any more on but not taking any off either just Making it nice and equally spread. Okay, that's one tile done with the brush. Second tile, I'm gonna apply my paint on with a small roller. And this color is the City Slicker. Again, it is from the Alfresco range. And the beauty about this, like with all French Eagle paints, it doesn't need priming. Straight onto the surface. my roller into it spreading it out onto the top of the tray here just getting enough on the roller to apply onto the tile now this will be a lot bigger and easier for you at home when you've got a full wall done as opposed to me just doing one small tile here but straight away the moment you apply it onto the surface you feel the paint grab and it just covers it absolutely amazing I'm going to lift this just to get my edges. Look at that. So likewise with the brush, once you've covered the area, just gently go over it and trying to keep it all in the same direction, whether you choose to go up and down or left to right. Try and keep it all 
relatively in the same direction where you can. Perfect. So that's one coat applied on both tiles, one with the brush, one with the roller. I'm going to leave this to dry for at least two hours and then I'm going to give it a second coat. Now both tiles have had at least two hours to dry, I'm going to apply a second coat. But one little thing, don't forget to wash your brush and your roller between the coats because they will dry up and then of course it's waterproof so we don't want you to ruin them. Wash them off, make sure they dry before you apply your second coat. So we're going to start again with the brush, the dusky blush. Beautiful vintage pink, dipping a small bit on that brush right in the center of the tile and just gently spreading it up and down like the same first layer we put on. now is looking perfect. Okay, same with the roller, that's how the wash is dried out. Straight back into your rolling tray, not too much on it. I'm gonna lift my tiles just to get around them edges, but remember yours are fixed to the wall and I'm presuming they're grouted, of course, because sometimes that grout can be a little bit deeper than the surface of the tile, so do make sure you get right around them edges. Now that's how quick and easy it is to paint your ceramic tiles. Because of the high humidity and standing water in the bathroom, it's more suitable for in kitchens. Now hopefully I've inspired you to transform your kitchen, because it'll certainly save you a lot of time and money. If you're looking for some more further tips and advice and inspiration, why not join the French Heat Fan Forum on Facebook or visit the website frenchheatpaint.co.uk.